Welcome to my channel. It was rumored according to a December 2022 New York Times article, that the GPT-4 version of the OpenAI will debut sometime in 2023. You may have also heard that it's going to dwarf chat GPT-3's ability significantly. To clarify the facts on both fronts, I'll show you some recent Sam Altman interview footage. At the end of the video, I'll also highlight what I believe the GPT-4 will be capable of. Sam Altman discusses the release date of ChatGPT4 in this conversation. The alternative. Can you comment on whether GPT4 is coming out in the first quarter, first half of the year? It'll come out at some point when we are like confident that we can do it safely and responsibly. Um, I I think in general we are going to release technology much more slowly than people would like. We're going to sit on it for much longer than people would like. And eventually, people will be like happy with our approach to this. Sam spoke directly about the hype that multiple graphics created to speculate GPT-4 thrashing GPT-3 in the coming future. Will we get that? I saw a visual, and I don't know if it was accurate, but it showed GPT-3.5 versus, I guess, what GPT-4 is expected. And I saw that thing of, on Twitter. Did you? <laughs> was that, was that complete accurate? Complete bullshit. No. Okay, because that no, was a little bit no. scary. Um, the... The GPT-4 rumor mill is like a ridiculous thing. I don't know where it all comes from. I don't know why people don't have like better things to speculate on. I get a little bit of it, like it's sort of fun, but that it's been going for like six months at this volume. People are begging to be disappointed and they will be. Like it's, you know, people are gonna, like the hype is just like, we don't have an actual AGI and I think that's sort of what is expected of us. And, you know, yeah, we're going to disappoint those people. Right, right. Well, I want to talk to you about... What is AGI? AGI is Artificial General Intelligence, while AI is Artificial Intelligence. AGI is a machine that has the ability to understand or learn any intellectual task that a human being can, while Artificial Intelligence is a machine that performs specific tasks well. Referring to ChatGPT4, Sam also talked about whether it will be an exponential increase in terms of its abilities or more of an incremental upgrade. But I still think, like, given the magnitude of the economic impact we expect here, uh, more gradual is better. And so putting out a very weak and imperfect system like ChatGPT um, and then making it a little better this year, a little better later this year, a little better next year, that seems much better than the alternative. You'll watch Sam react to a question about ChatGPT forcing Google out of business in a moment, and once he finishes speaking, I'll discuss one of the excellent points he made. Um... Yeah, I think whenever someone like talks about a technology being the end of some other giant company, it's, it's usually wrong. Like, I think people forget they get, they get to make a counter move here, and they're like. Sam may be referring to Palm, a 540 billion parameter transformer model, as the counter move. The visuals show the enhancements brought about by expanding the number of parameters. Although we have looked into Palm, while what Palm can accomplish on this graph is frightening, pay attention to the line that crosses the performance of the average person. When you look more closely at the tasks the POM can complete, you'll see that we're still talking about solving 60% of the problems that children between the ages of 9 and 12 can do, which is amazing. POM can solve 58% of them and the typical 12-year-old can solve 60% of them. It is not exactly AGI. Not yet, at least, so if ChatGPT4 even comes close to being in that range, we'll see the difference and observe improvement, much like how that graph dramatically grew by adding more parameters. Perhaps it will be able to better comprehend books and jokes, for instance, but we're not yet talking about artificial general intelligence. I have no doubt that the initial buzz surrounding chat GPT-4 will be fantastic. Sam also speaks about how the initial buzz differs in the incredible feats it can accomplish in the overall model's durability. Is this they are impressive but not robust, and so you use them in a first demo, you kind of have this like very impressive like wow this is like incredible and ready to go. Um, you use them a hundred times, you see the weaknesses. And so I think people can get a much, sort of a false impression of how good they are. However, that's all gonna get better. The critics who point these problems out and say, well, this is why it's like, you know, all like a, like, you know, fake news or whatever are, are equally wrong. And so I, I think it's good in the sense that people are updating to this, thinking hard about it and all of that. Thank you for watching and do subscribe for more such content.